of all the games that I've watched being an Oklahoma Sooner fan, today I am going to relive one of my favorite games that I ever watched, and it's in my top two all-time wins for Oklahoma. But first, let's kick this mule. Through 153 games, our record was People don't know what it is to be champions. Oklahoma invented it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sooner Legends Podcast. I'm your host, the legend, Mike Wilkerson. And I hope y'all like my new intro video that's going to be shown in all of my upcoming videos. If you're a college football fan, more especially an Oklahoma Sooner Sooner fan, you have come to the right place. Whether it's uh, updated uh, new stuff on the OU Sooners that's in the now, or my favorite subject, the history of the o Oklahoma Sooners, you have come to the right channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe turn on your post notification bells that way you won't miss any content that i will be uploading in the future give me a like and could you please share the video with your friends because as we say sharing is caring okay my all time well not all time but my second favorite ou game was the 1976 OU Nebraska game. Now, I'm going to build you up to the game. Uh, both clubs were 7 2 and 1 coming into that game. And for a rare occasion, uh, neither team was in contention for uh, a national championship run but they was in contention to be co-champions with OSU and Colorado for a share of the Big 8 title. Nebraska's uh, record, they uh, tied LSU in their home opener that season, and their losses was Missouri and Iowa State and Oklahoma we tied Texas that year with the great Earl Campbell from the University of Texas, and we lost to OSU and Colorado at Boulder. So both clubs were 7-2-1 and one coming into that game. It was a typical November Nebraska OU game at Lincoln where it was just colder and all get out, and I mean it was – just miserable. So, uh, the game, what was special about it, we going to get there. Uh, OU struck first with Elvis Peacock. We scored the first touchdown, and going into the halftime, it was 7-3 OU Nebraska. Now, a lot didn't. In that game, if y'all remember of those old – uh, OU Nebraska games. It was a hard hitting, hard punching uh, slug fest between those two. And y'all don't don't slap me around and unsubscribe me to me for this. But back in those days, yeah, we Texas was a rival to us, but they was in different con conferences. So uh, Texas was in the Southwest Conference. OU was in the Big Eight. So Texas was bragging rights game. 
because the Red River splits us, but it never was as big as that OU Nebraska game because of, with the exclusion of this game, it always had conference title on the line and a possibility of the national championship. So it was far bigger than Texas was back in them days. So anyway, uh, after the halftime, uh, Nebraska comes comes into the third quarter, and I mean, they started playing with their hair on fire. They broke two big plays and jumped on us 17 to 7 going into the fourth quarter. And what happened going into the fourth quarter? It began. Now, a lot of guys and talking heads say this is the game where Sooner Magic was born. Actually, Sooner Magic was born the year prior uh, with uh, OU playing Missouri, and Little Joe scored in the last few minutes of the game against Missouri at Columbia, scored a touchdown, and then they needed a two-point conversion to win that game. And, of course, they won the national championship for 75. But that's actually where Sooner Magic was born, was 1975. It is not 1976. However, most Sooner Magic, if you will, games was Oklahoma and Nebraska at Lincoln. So there's you another little tidbit. Okay, for, we're in the fourth quarter. Uh, Thomas Slott started out. He pitched the ball to Horace Ivory. And uh, Horace took it to the 49-yard line of Oklahoma. And then uh, on the next play, Lott pitched it to Elvis Peacock. Man, I missed that running back. He was such a fun, fun running back to watch. He was shifty, just so uh, uh, Peacock scampered down the sideline for a 51-yard touchdown. However, we missed. We uh, Switcher went for two. We missed the two-point conversion. We was stopped at the at the goal line, and the score was 17-13, still in Nebraska's favor, with uh, 12-28 left in the game. Now, Nebraska had several chances in there to, or a couple, they had a chance to put that game away. They drove down after an OU fumble. They drove down all the way to the Oklahoma 16-yard line. And my favorite safety of all time. I love Roy. Roy, I love you. But my all-time favorite safety for Oklahoma is Zach Henderson. And uh, on uh, fourth and two, uh, Zach Henderson broke up a Vince Ferragamo pass. Intended for Dale Shamblin with 3.30 left in the game. Now, Vince Ferragamo is ringing the bell with some of you older older fans out there. Yes, that's the Vince Ferragamo that played for the Los Angeles Rams. And then Oklahoma took possession on their own 16-yard line. And here's where everything, this is where... The two trick plays got us, got us, won us the game. The first one. Now, mind you, there's 3.30 left. Oklahoma is deep in their own territory at the 16-yard line. Uh, that Friday, they had instilled or installed a trick play, two of them, into that playbook. They found out for one that uh, Woody Shepard, and if he sounds familiar, he was Derek and Daryl Shepard's brother. And uh, they found out he had a hell of an arm on him. So on this particular play, uh, Lott went to his right on the triple option, flipped the ball to Woody Shepard. Woody Shepard 
was on his own 10 or our own 10 yard line and he did the halfback pass hit Steve Rhodes who was our split in from uh, the Dallas skyline area uh, just past the 50 yard line and there was two Nebraska defenders uh, behind him and uh or Steve Rhodes was behind the, the two Nebraska defenders, but Woody put that ball right on Steve Rhodes. Well, OU lines up. We lose yardage. We tried another trick play with Steve Rhodes that he tripped, and the, and it didn't work. Run another play. Uh, it ended up being third and 19 with a minute and 10 left in the game with no timeouts and we had to have a touchdown to win it so lock goes out and uh dean blevins comes in yes the dean blevins who is the sports director for channel nine news in oklahoma city uh dean comes out he uh scrambles he hit Steve Rhodes on the money. Steve flips it to Elvis Peacock. Peacock runs down the sideline to the two-yard line where he was knocked out of bounds. And then we scored. Uwe Von Schaman uh, kicked the field goal. We won 20-17. to 17. Uh, A particular thing to note on that, uh, on that hook and ladder, ladder lateral people call it the hook and ladder it is not a ladder it is a lateral okay get that hook and ladder out your mouth it's hook and lateral uh nebraska stacked the line on an eight-man front with only three safeties left in the background in the backfield and uh that's how that play worked switcher read it beautiful that's why he's the king that's why he's the king of, of uh, coaching. So uh, I'm glad y'all joined me today and uh, letting me relive my second all-time favorite game. Uh, as y'all notice, I got a new lid. Uh, got If I'm going to have an OU podcast, I got to wear OU stuff, right? <laughs> so y'all take care of yourself. God bless. Be nice to each other because you don't know tomorrow's promise. This is the legend. We'll see you on the backside. God bless you, folks. Through 153 games, our record was 125, 24, 4, 2, that's...